begin round four. You are a go. Okay, guys, sorry for the delay. We were just getting everything set up logistically. So we almost inadvertently have a uh, scum mirror match here uh, with two big variables. Uh, got two Boba Fetts, two L337s, but uh, Carson on the right has got a Fen Rao, and then uh, Brett on the left is uh, rocking some Dengar. Uh, these are pilots we really haven't seen today on stream, so I'm excited to see how this, uh, this match plays out.
Oh, man. Yeah, it looks like Brett uh, kind of fell for a trap a little bit. Yeah, I just want to point out, uh, as a commenter mentioned, uh, IG88D is on the um, Carson's Boba Fett. So that's uh, he's got two calculate tokens, not uh, two crit tokens, or uh, focus tokens, rather. So Brett's Boba Fett is a little bit in trouble, uh, being that he's all out there by himself. Both Boba Fett's are actually pretty similar to uh, with the Marauder title as well as uh, Han Solo Gunner. It looked like he's using uh, Han Solo's Han Solo Gunner's ability, uh, Han Solo Scum Gunner. Cool, got a uh, got our dice cam up, so we got uh, hit focus. So, oh, natty dough. I think Brett was hoping for some uh, some easy damage there, but Dice uh, Dice did not cooperate. All right, one snuck through for uh, Brett took one shield. We want to point out the, uh, the energy in the room is a lot different. The, everyone's, I think, experiencing the, the post-lunch slump a little bit. Everything's a lot more mellow. Everyone's moving a little slower, myself included. But uh, as soon as we digest a little bit, we're, we're back in. Oh dang! Look at that. That's a uh, a custom surprise prize that uh, producer Seely's handing out right now. Uh, well, I don't want to I don't want to disrupt the game, but we have uh, we have some more information about that later. But if you look close, you can see that it's a uh, it's 
a Carl Weathers Sunter Fell. I'm keeping my eye out right now to see if like, oh, did Carl Weathers actually show up? Doesn't look like it, but everyone's pretty focused. He could have snuck in. So I'm kind of curious here if uh, Brett made more of a tactical error or if he's just trying to put his own Boba Fett out there uh, just to give his, uh, his Dengar more of a chance to engage, get off the uh, proton torpedoes. We all know that uh, Boba Fett likes to engage at close range. Okay, so here we go. Revealing dials. Whoa, Whoa. okay. That's interesting. Oh, interesting. Oh, Carson just coordinated a boost to uh, block Scret uh, <laughs> block Brett's Boba Fett. So I'm I don't know, I'm looking at that uh, Carson's positioning of L three and and okay. Ooh, ooh. Duh, it's hard to tell. It doesn't look like. Uh, Brett has a has a shot on to Carson. I don't think. I mean, maybe at the front he's like slightly at an angle. But. but regardless, uh, I think Brett is going to get uh, at least a pair of rerolls every time he shoots, every time he uh, defends. So his ability will trigger. Dengar can get hot. <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice those uh, those Lego figurines on there. That's pretty cool. Dengar also has the uh, epic base on him. Conservative choice with. Fen Rao. I'm wondering if uh, he's going to try to get an easy kill on L3. See, I feel like in a lot of ways uh, the escape craft it, uh, fills the same uh, fulfills the same role as the sheepipede on Rebels. Uh, it's really just a a, a source of uh, coordinating your more important ships. Okay, triggering uh, triple zero here. Both of them. All right, what? The Okay, here we go. Dengar is going to fire his, uh, his torpedo.
Ooh. You gonna coordinate the focus? I think we just lost our uh, overhead camera real quick. Not a big deal. It just gets you some uh, sweet B-roll from the sides. Alright, I think I'm going to step away real quick. Uh, I'm going to update some of that uh, damage that's happened via my mobile iPad. I'll be back in mere moments. trying to figure out if it's a power strip. Uh, I'm still getting this feed, so I know that we're getting power. Okay. Can you reach up there and, and just push the power cable in? Yeah, but don't don't pump this. Like we may be experiencing a uh, SoCal earthquake over here. I'm just kidding.
that Carson and uh, yeah, Carson and his, keeping his Boba Fett and L3 in formation, uh, coordinate some, uh, some actions over to him. Okay, now this is kind of an interesting situation. Uh, Carson doesn't have a whole lot of places to go. I mean, obviously he's gonna turn towards, towards the left of both ships, but uh, that is gonna put, whoa, whoa, hang on. It's like Dengar's coming around to uh, face off with Fenn. Now Fan has a choice if he wants to uh, keep planking at L3 or if he wants to try to put some uh, damage onto Dengar. Um, still a good, a good chance to hit Dengar without triggering his ability, but oh yeah, okay, he's going for it. We'll see if he, uh, yep, okay, linked into a, linked into a focus. One shield off of Dengar. Okay, it looks like Dengar is going to get lit up again after uh, Carson shoots. Natty out of it. Another shield off of Dengar. Yeah, all things considered, that uh, it wasn't too bad. Now it's kind of an awkward situation to be in when your Dengar's getting hit and you can't uh, can't trigger that return fire ability. Now we've kind of uh, split things up, kind of out of formation a little bit here. Uh, we've got, at the top of the screen, we got Carson's L3 and Boba Fett. Uh, his Fen Rao is over to the left center. Uh, exact center is Brett's Dengar. Brett's Boba Fett is on the right, and Brett's L3 at the very bottom of the screen. Now, a lot of Carson's main, uh, well, I shouldn't say that, but his uh, Boba Fett at the top, he, I, don't I don't see a way of him getting back into this fight for at least a couple of rounds. Uh, L3 is going to be trailing him. So right now, Fen Round's got to do some, uh, some clever footwork if he wants to avoid getting hit. Uh, one thing helpful for Carson is everything of Brett's is stressed. So there's not going to be any K turns or anything like that. So he can uh, he can use that to his advantage.
We got our uh, current top ten. Ooh, uh, Ryan Frost. He's a local. Uh, Chris Chris Allen. We're just in our last game. Asa Graff. You know him. Ooh, Drew Brody is also a local. Is it all people with uh, with three wins? Oh, Garrett. Uh, he's from uh, Central California. Good to see him come down here. Again, even though that is uh, Carson moving that ship, that is uh, Brett's Boba Fett that just moved. Looks like he's going to possibly try to engage Ben Rao. Fortunately, it doesn't seem a way for Dengar to trigger his ability here. Oh, doing it. Okay. Yeah, I, okay. I was going to say, I, I feel like it's pretty, I feel like he's got it, but, you know, I have the, the hindsight of overhead. Let's see if Fenrir can get out of that. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I keep forgetting the second edition uh, fire sprays have that, that one hard, and it's so good. And being on a medium base, too, makes him a lot more maneuverable. Fenra, what you got? Okay, I believe Fenra, or uh, sorry, Dengar's arc is facing forward, I believe. Whoa, <laughs> whoa. Carson is quite literally fearless. Uh, you know, it might not be a terrible time to do it. Uh, Boba Fett has no shields right now. I mean, he is going to get the reroll, but you know, if uh, Fenrir gets some good hits in, that's going to seriously put a put a hamper on Brett's ability to use his own Boba Fett. Okay, here we come. Five minutes left in the round. Oh, re rolled into a to an evade, so that's uh, two hits on Boba Fett. OK, 
Okay, well, let's see if uh, Carson's conservatism, uh, not spending his focus, will pay off. I'm sure it will. Easy to forget, too. Uh, L3 has also got a follow up shot on uh, Fenrau as well. I think he's contemplating maybe his uh, Boba Fett or no, sorry, Han Solo gunner. Oh, wow, okay. Perfect combination. Oh my goodness. Okay. Direct hit, oh dang, okay, that's uh, whew. Well, I, that's actually not terrible for Fen because it doesn't impact any of his abilities. Uh, he still has maneuverability, he's still got firepower, he's still in this game. Um, okay, that's a damage sensor array on Dengar. Okay, yeah, let's see if L3 gets lucky. Uh, Fenrir still has his, uh, his focus before, but I mean, hey, it didn't help before. Let's see if it helps now. So that turn was actually very, uh, very profitable for Carson. Uh, he just scored 88 points. Uh, he brought uh, Boba Fett and oh, uh, yeah, he brought Boba Fett and Dengar down to, to half. Um, Brett, however, also uh, scored 35 points by bringing uh, Fen down to half. So that puts uh, Brett in a bit of an awkward situation having that uh, damage sensor array. Uh, if he doesn't get that fixed, uh, you know he really wants to use that torpedo. So that kind of telegraphs his moves a little bit. That or either that or he tries to be tricky and put himself in suboptimal situations. But. Check out those shield tokens. Yeah, this uh, it's kind of an interesting, interesting situation. Everyone's kind of uh, out of formation, all over the place. I mean, this is what I expect from like a scum on scum dogfight. But I'm interested to see how uh, Brett's going to use his L3 this turn. Um, her and Dengar kind of facing each other, 
there's there's not very many spots for her to go. And if she stays there and just bumps, you know, that kind of sets her up for getting blasted by Boba Fett. I mean, she is uh, she is damaged. But then again, there's uh, you know, Brett has so many other wounded targets at the moment. Okay, yeah, just bump, clear stress. Really nowhere to go. At least set yourself up for next turn. Interesting. I wonder if Carson's Boba is even going to be able to say if he does a hard turn to try to avoid that rock. I wonder if he's going to fit. I, I, I don't think so. Oh, no way. So unless he uh, he bugs out and goes straight, there's really no way of avoiding that uh, that rock there. Uh, that was a good good idea to coordinate. In a way, it's kind of like pseudo advanced sensors from a from a different ship. Carson just embraces it. I mean, Boba Fett is still pretty healthy. And if he gets lucky on the roll, he can still take the... Uh... Oh, it connects. And yeah, just for anyone tuning in right now, uh, I just wanted to point out that Carson's ships, uh, his L3 in the top left corner, uh, his Boba Fett on the left, and his Fenra over on the right, uh, all of Brett's ships are in that cluster in the center of the, of the, ma of the map. Okay, yeah, from that angle, look looked pretty clear. Uh, got him at range three. Or, ooh, that's not quite so clear. That doesn't look right to me. Are you kidding? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, Fen Rao takes another hole. 
Whoops. Wrong ship. And I'm sorry, I realized this uh, preemptively scored Brett the uh, 35 points. Now he's crossed the threshold, so now he's scored the 35 points. Boba Fett, range one to the other Boba Fett. Oh, wait. He has focus? I thought that was his calculate. Okay, I'm pretty sure that was a calculate, but. Okay, Boba Fett's on fire. Rocking a uh, fuel leak. Okay, yeah, no, I did catch that. Well, uh, so yeah, he did have focus token, not calculate. Or he did have calculate as well. Oh, 3 0. I thought he said 13. Did he say 13 or 30? Okay, yeah. You know, I kind of don't quite know what to make of this game at the moment. I mean, I suppose Carson is in the lead, <laughs> but everybody's on fire. It's a, uh, you know, one, one good shot and someone's gonna have a significant advantage. Looks like damage has been in, uh, getting spread around like butter. Both players doing a good job of uh, forcing engagements to, to, uh, to go the way they want.
Now, unfortunately, Brett's Boba Fett is now kind of in the same situation as uh, Carson's was last turn. That same rock is just gonna. Uh, I don't see any way for him to avoid it. Even if he did a one hard, m maybe, maybe he could avoid that. But he's gonna stay stressed, and I don't know. If, I don't think he wants that. You know, actually, uh, Brett's Dengar is in a very good position to uh, to get off his uh, his torpedo. Oh wow, that cleared. Perfect. Okay, let me, uh, during this round break, I will, I will double check on that, uh, the rounding up ruling. Interesting. Why? I'm curious why he didn't go after Boba Fett. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Wow, okay. Reroll into, oh, that's a lot, that's much more positive. See what Dengar can do. Oh. Okay, that puts Dengar at, I believe, one remaining. Oh, if you want, sure. Oh dang, I think that's uh that's it then for Boba Fett.
Okay, quick uh, update on the score. That puts uh, Carson up at 134. It's our first ship destroyed. Everybody else is pretty much on fire. Well, I guess the L3s aren't doing too bad. This could be a uh, L3 to L3 showdown. Curious. I'm, I'm looking at Brett's options here. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he's going to have to flip his arc around. His He has uh, something up his sleeve. Like if there was ever a time to, to YOLO, it would be now. But, I mean, I don't know. You, you fly over one of those asteroids, and uh, with one hole, you can very easily just crash to your death. Man. I don't, yeah, I don't know. I do not envy Brett right now. Having a L3 being in a forward position like that as well, there's not really anything he can do to, or she can do rather, to, to coordinate to Dengar. I believe that any move would, would put her out of range. See if that uh, keeps her in range for coordinate. Oh, yeah, no, it does. All right, cool. Okay, well, that, that helps, helps out a little bit. A little bit. Still doesn't quite put him in a position to use his ability. Hard time imagining, say, if even if, if Dengar. Because Carson's. Carson's Fen Rao is gonna, is gonna get Dengar. I'm, I'm, unless he does like something more conservative. I'm pretty sure he's gonna get Dengar. And, you know, they'll, they'll revenge, revenge shot back and forth. Uh, oh. Or not revenge shot, but the uh, um, simultaneous fire. But now, oh, with a bump. Oh my goodness. L3. Well, at least Brett's in good spirits. You know, if uh, Carson wanted to get greedy here, he could uh, send Dengar to L3. <laughs> I hope he wins. Okay. Uh, okay, there we go. Yep. That's it for Dengar. Leaving only L3. That's it? All right, conceding. 
Looks like uh, Carson is the uh, Carson's the winner here. Hey, celebratory music. So that was a uh, pretty pretty exciting rear match. We're going to talk to, to Carson here, the winner. How are you feeling, Carson? It feels a bit weird. I'm doing an interview after round four of a tournament when I'm three and one, but it's good. It feels good. Yeah, I wasn't uh, I wasn't really sure what to make of this match because you guys were pretty much in like a for a lot of it was mirror match. It's almost a mirror. Yeah, it's pretty close to a mirror. I mean, obviously, Degar is very different from Fen. Uh, the protons are a good alpha if you can get them off. Um, Lucky for me, I only got one off. Yeah, but it's close to a mirror a lot of times. That's why Smilus has a big bid. He's running at 200, and I think that bid is crucial in the Boba mirror. So, yeah. Uh, how do you feel about the uh, the L3 shuttle? It's, it's, in a way, it's kind of like the Sheathapede in the Fan Ghost list. Oh yeah, it is. It is, and it when it lives as long as it did this game. I mean, it lived the whole time and just gave Boba the coordinates every time, and that's if you do that, you're gonna win. It's just. If you're able to get those free actions every time, it's it's hard to lose. I was a little concerned this was going to turn into a uh, L3 versus L3 match. Uh, <laughs> that, if that happened, uh, what, what was, would you have done? There was a possibility. I would probably would have cried, and then it would have been the best game of my life anyway. So, <laughs> it right, was, cool, there cool. was, was at two, and Fed was at one, so it was possible. <laughs> All right. Well, let's uh, let's let's check with Brett. See see how he's feeling. <laughs> Don't moralize. So, no, no. Well, you, you seem to be in good spirits, regardless. Well, it's fun. It's fun to, to, to play. He's a real strong player. I uh, uh, d he definitely outplayed me. It was more than just a difference in the bid. And uh, uh, he was the big thing was he was able to to use the coordinate with L3 over and over. And uh, I only got that a few times. I kind of got the. Uh, Support ship in the way a few times and stressed. Yeah, it seemed like uh, your, your Dengar was struggling a little bit to, to get his positioning right. Yeah, it's you really can't move the the arc on him, and uh, you know a, a big base ship that you're not repositioning. It's, it's kind of tough, but I thought I'd give it a try. Uh, I did with just marginal success today, but. <laughs> Well, how, how have you been doing on the, the rest of the tournament? Uh, I guess I'm two and two now. First two games uh, were, were really strong, and uh, in the second game I just got destroyed in a control match. I got uh, four long, uh, Palab and uh, uh, and Gurry, and four long with the shenanigans. It was just, it was ugly. <laughs> but that's why control is are if you fly it well. And this guy was really good. Yeah, so, but I'm having a blast here, you know. Cool, well, that's, that's the most important thing, Brett, and I'm glad you're having a good time. We're having a good time. Um, uh, good luck in your uh, in your next match. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. All right, take care. And uh, that's it. We're going to go into round five pretty soon.